Uh, Bo, we're, we're obviously uh, very proud of our own uh, U-Health uh, system at the University of Miami, but we're also fortunate to have uh, Baptists serving our South Florida community as well. So what, what have been the main challenges you faced uh, during the pandemic and how have you and your team at Baptist handled them? Well, thank you, Dean. Um, I understand my time is somewhat limited today, so I'm, I'm going to have to speak quickly or choose my words carefully. And uh, I liked your opening. Uh, you're proud and you should be proud. Uh, anybody that works in academia, works in healthcare right now, ought to be extremely proud of what we're doing for society, what we've been able to do for society. And there, there is no more purposeful work uh, than the work that, that we do. So um, you wanted to, you really asked me about what challenges uh, presented themselves. And I'd say the greatest challenge for us, and I'm sure all of my colleagues in healthcare across the nation would agree with this, is the unknown. Um, we've had some other uh, pandemic type challenges, SARS or Ebola, but none of us really thought we were going to have to deal with this in our career. We would drill and practice for other things, civil disturbances, hurricanes, lots of other things, but um, a virus like this that would upend the entire world um, was probably the greatest challenge that you could ever possibly imagine. So the biggest challenge for us at the beginning was the unknown. How does it get spread? How do we protect ourselves? What do we do next? Oh, gee, all the protective equipment comes from China. That's not going to work. How do we increase the amount of supply chain effectiveness? We have increased the amount of protective equipment for people. And how do we educate our staff and educate our physicians? And we have learned so much along the way about monoclonal antibodies and, and, and what we do to try to treat patients and you treat patients on their stomachs instead of their back. Do you use a ventilator? Do you not use a ventilator? You know, that was, those, that was really, uh, uh, you know, our, our biggest thing and how quickly that this thing spread. And then now, that we're through that, and we feel like we've learned an awful lot about uh, these pathogens is the staff well-being. Um, when I talk to my colleagues across the country, it's all about the staff. Um, they are truly heroes. Um, they are tired. They've been at this for years. And, you know, over Christmas, when we saw this most recent surge, it almost seemed like there was no end in sight uh, to this. And I and I really can't say enough about the people that work in healthcare, what a calling it is for them, how dedicated and commitment committed they are, you know, coming to work every day and taking care of these patients. And, you know, at each and every shift, it's a challenge. And I promise you, it's a challenge for all of your hospitals as well to deal with the staffing challenge and to have enough people uh, to take care of, of the patients. So, our team is doing amazing purposeful work. We are so grateful to them. We know it's always been about them and we're trying to do our best to support them. So, you know, we've learned a lot. We're trying to be as nimble as we can, try to support our people and be flexible and having uh, the right supplies and providing lots of support to our people has been absolutely critical. 